Welcome to the TechSource.tv. My name is Dan, and today, Windows 8 might just make it so you cannot dual boot anymore. Also, EVGA shows off two new Hyper GTX 580s. Also, we got new AMD FX series prices and some benchmarks. Eh, pretty neat. And also, Duke Nukem Forever wants your opinion of how shit the game really was. So, over this week, I was doing some reading into Windows 8, and um, now there's a pre-beta happening right now, and I'm not, I don't have access to it, but some people do are getting access to it, and Microsoft's showing off to a certain lucky few, and so from some videos I've seen, and what I've read, is it's looking pretty good, and it boots up really, really fast, because it kind of, what it does is it shuts it down to such a minimal state, and it hibernates the core of the system, so when you actually boot it up, it unhibernates itself, and it just boots up instantly, so it never really fully shuts down, and it never really fully shuts down applications which is kind of weird because that's like after you have so many applications open your pc is going to bog but because windows 8 has this like weird app based style now and more user retard style i'd call it not user friendly or dumbed down or simplified um but it has this whole like touch screen layout and that's what i've seen on, on the tablet versions now it does have a desktop and you can still do a lot of things with it um but it's not is what we're known to with windows 7. Now, another thing that's gonna be happening is they're gonna be turning off dual booting. Basically, you're gonna to have to have a motherboard or a Windows certified system that has the EFI BIOSes that has a secure boot uh, on it or else you cannot install it. That's what it looks like right now. Now it's gonna suck if you're gonna to wanna to install Linux, you're gonna to wanna to install a second copy of Windows. It looks like you're just gonna to have to pull that whole other Windows drive out for Windows 8 and, and then plug it in, plug in your Linux one or plug in your Windows 7 one to actually use it. So. From what I'm seeing, it looks like Windows is taking a huge step backwards and they're making everything locked down and doing it the Apple way. I thought PCs were all about customization and being open to whatever you want to do, not like Apple's. You buy an Apple and you can't do anything with it. You have to buy Apple certified shit for it. PCs, this is what a PC is, certifying it. Like, like this is like customization, water cooling, doing whatever you want, not doing it the Apple way. That's just wrong. So if you're looking for the fastest single GPU on the market, you look no further than the GTX 580 right now. Um, now, the fastest version of the GTX 580 is soon to be, a, um, EVGA is claiming, is their classified edition of the 580. Now, they're coming with two versions. They're coming with a 1.5 gig and a 3 gigabyte version, um, air-cooled card of the 580, and then they're coming with a water-cooled version of the same 1.5 gigabyte and 3 gigabyte versions. Now, these cards will run you, um, for the air-cooled versions, they'll run you about 540 bucks for the 1.5 gigabyte version, and then the 3 gigabyte version will run you uh, $599. Now, the water-cooled versions, again, there's uh, same thing, it's one $679 for the 1.5 gig, and for the 3 gig, it's 600, no, actually $729. It's a, it's a big price jump for the water-cooled cards, but they're also better because you got a lot better uh, headroom and you can put four of these in SLI, I suppose maybe just three. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, what's so great about these uh, EVGA classified cards? Well, not only they're bigger than the standard reference card, they don't use a reference PCB. They use all custom parts. EVGA redesigned the board right from the ground up, which is awesome. So you use solid state capacitors. We have better chokes, better MOSFETs, better VRMs, everything. Even the PCB is bigger. It's bigger, longer, it's taller. So you're gonna make sure you have to have a wide case. Uh, this case here is pretty wide. It would definitely fit it. But if you're buying these cards, I don't think you're going to have a case like this. Um, but these are pretty awesome cards. Now, EVGA is calling these the fastest single GPU uh, GTX 580s out there. Um, we'll see when benchmarks are out and more, more people review them. But I wouldn't doubt they are. Uh, they're probably faster than the Asus ROGs. Now, every week, it seems like we're talking about the AMD FX processors. And they're not out yet still. They were supposed to come out like at the beginning of this year, in like June, if not before then. And, well, they didn't. So, But apparently, they're coming out October... 12th. I don't believe that, but we'll see what happens October 12th. Um, so we got prices for them. So there's the FX 8150, the FX 8120, and the FX 6120. Now the prices for those, in order, as the way I said them, is $245, $205, and $175. That's pretty good, um, but apparently Intel just dropped the price on the 2600K because they made the new 2700K. So that might have a little bit of a problem for, uh, for AMD, because when they just showed off their new uh, benchmarks for their CPU, showing that it is on par with a 990 with a 980X and a 2600K, it's kind of more expensive than it. So they might have a bit of a problem. And the Intel i7 2600K holds the best price of performance budget. But 
It is a good pro so it goes to show that the actually AMD did make a good processor. It's not going to be a flop. It's not going to fail. It's it's just as fast as 2600K. It's 8 cores, so hey, you know what? For being an 8 core CPU, it's going to be good for rendering and things like that. And I wouldn't doubt it overclocks like a beast. So um yeah, it's a bit more pricey, but it probably they'll probably drop the price or adjust it accordingly, and they'll probably come up with they are coming out with a higher end version um, of the uh, eighty one fifty soon, but it's not coming out initially on the first launch. So we'll see what happens, and that's pretty awesome now. So now we have confirmed date and we have some prices. So already the motherboards are out, so you just start building your system. October twelfth, guys. So if, did any of you guys play Duke Nukem Forever? I know we had a contest for it for a while a while ago, and um, I was really amped up for a bit you know i i'm a big duke fan and i was disappointed um it was the kindness to say i guess we can say about it it was a okay game at anything it it felt like an indie game if not worse a lot of indie games are put are were put together better than this so anyways 2k games now is asking how did we f it up and you can now fill out a product survey and Tell them how bad or how much you hated the game. Now, there's some hardcore fans that did like the game, and I tried to push myself to believe I liked the game, but then after, I just put it down because it just it was not that great. Um, I'd rather just play Duke Nukem 3D with the high-res pack. It's a lot more fun. Um, but so, yeah, they have a product survey, and they're looking at seeing how badly they screwed up, and they want to know how they could improve it. And I think they're looking into making a second one because the character, and Duke Nukem, is a, it, it's a good franchise, it's just they should have just thrown everything they had away and restarted fresh when Gearbox took over. And that's what they should have done. Not done what they did because the game really sucked and it felt old. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today. Um, now, Dave will be back next week. He's just landing in Canadian soil. I saw his Facebook update. <laughs> and um, um, so we'll return to that. And then he'll tell you where he was and things like that. He was just near Russia and he had to take a plane to Frankfurt. And he transferred from the Frankfurt to Toronto. So... He had a long flight, and he went backwards in time. Then he went, you know, it's pretty cool. But anyways, um, as you may notice, we have a PC here. Um, it's a case that was sent to us by Fractal Design. So thank you guys for sending us this case to review. Um, the review will be coming out next week. Don't know exactly when, but the unboxing is coming out today. Um, actually, not today. It came out Saturday night. It should be out. But if you don't see it, you'll see it today, which is Sunday, um, when this video does come out. So anyways, um... But it was a sick case. We're pretty impressed with it. Um, you'll see the full review. If you want to click out the unboxing first, um, click on the annotation on it. And then if you go to the unboxing, um, there will be an annotation go to the review when the review is out. So anyways, that's that. Uh, please remember, if you guys are not subscribed, please remember to subscribe because you'll see some unboxing, review videos, news videos like this. And soon, PvP update will be coming out. If you don't know what that is, go to our main channel, click on the PvP playlist. You'll see a little intro video. It doesn't really explain much, but basically it's this show, but about games and not hosted by me. Um, so that's, it's going to be pretty good and, uh, it should be fun. So, um, please remember to rate, thumbs up and, uh, subscribe. I already said, but uh, go to our Facebook cause you'll like it to see lots of cool new stuff. So yeah, I'm rambling. All right. See ya.